happy Friday to all you followers around the world, especially you in America. And of course everybody else that is following me here on my free speech channel on YouTube. Even if it's even censored and I can be deleted at any time. Uh, I'm about to talk to you about President Donald Trump's latest State of the Union and uh, the quite insane approval rating of 78. I think that must be one of the highest ever uh, in modern times when you started to measure the approval from during the among the viewers. 78% approved of Donald Trump's State of the Union speech. Uh, and. Uh, my guess is that people is now starting to listening to what he says instead of listening to media telling you what he says. And uh, I think they're starting to see that there is a, quite a big difference there. I'm coming back to that in a moment. First of all, first week as a single dad and uh, had my kids this week. Now I've dropped them off. So first time in many, many years that I'm uh, not obligated to do anything to please anyone uh, except myself so now focus is getting back on track uh, moving on with some business uh, you know uh, bureaucrats is making it very hard for free speech open-minded common-sense guys like myself to get a job and keep a job because the tolerant moderate left seems to hate good guys like myself that stand up for rape women that stands up for immigrants being injured by other immigrants and wants them to be safe in their new home country apparently that is racism to try to prevent migrants being killed by honor killings that being gunshot at gang shootings and stabs and shit like that but hey what do I know uh, back to President Donald Trump and as I said it seems now that people in America is starting to listen to what he's actually saying instead of what media is telling you that he has said uh, I took this at um, I, I, did, I, I talked about this in I think late 2015 during the American uh, election and the uh, rally that was going on where everybody said that Donald Trump has no chance of winning and uh, one of many things that he has said that the media has twisted was the border against Mexico you know the border that Bill Clinton wanted to build in 1998 uh, the one that Barack Hussein Obama wanted to build in 2004 and the one that Hillary Clinton felt that it needed to be done in 2008 uh, it's suddenly racist to want to build a wall when you're a Republican and not a Democrat but what he did mention during the speech and you all know where everybody on the left is saying that he said that all Mexicans are rapists and murderers and now you all know that he said a lot of rapists and murderers and drugs is coming in through the Mexican border it's a big difference to say that than to say all Mexicans are rapists, murderers and drug dealers. Simple fact is, through the Mexican border, a lot of evil people go with all the good people trying to start a new life uh, in America. 90% uh, of all the cocaine or heroin is coming in through America, through the, America, the southern Mexican border. And to build a wall to prevent evil people to enter your country and hurt the good people, I, I can't understand why that's racist. To let good Mexicans in the legal way or Venezuelans or whoever tries to enter America through the southern border, going in through the back door, so to say, um, my favorite kind of back door action. Um, seems kind of odd especially since like I said Bill Clinton, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton all wanted to strengthen the border, build a wall to protect America from 
drugs coming into the country, MS-13 gang members coming into the country, rapists, drug dealers and murderers to come into the country. And then it's most attacking other Mexicans, Venezuelans and minority groups in America. He has also gotten a lot of heat for grab them by the pussy statement. And here is also a narrative that the mainstream media is. They are cutting a few words before he says grab them by the pussy. The discussion they had and the mention and the, and the sentence he said was they let you grab them by the pussy. To talk about some women that are they have no problem being used, they have no problem being pushed around and to tell someone that they let you grab them by the pussy is way different than to say grab them by the pussy because that way it seems like I'm saying grab them by the pussy you see the difference there the media and the left is pushing it very hard that he said grab them by the pussy when he actually said they let you grab them by the pussy. It's maybe not sensitive or you might get offended for talking like that, but grow some fucking balls on the spine. It's worse. It's the way you talk. Okay? But 78% 78% approve of the SCOTUS state of the union. And one thing I noticed as a Swede, I watched this because I'm very interested in America, as you know. I love to, I, I really love to move there, start a new life, and see what it goes to. Because I have some amazing Swedish product that I have been part of developing, and I'm trying to get on the market. But if I push that and market it here on my so-called open free speech channel. Uh, you know how the left would react. They would attack the company and they would try to get me some kind of fired or banned or kicked out of the company. But either way, 78%. And uh, did you see the reaction from the woman in the Democratic Party when he said that 58% of all new jobs created has gone to women? It has never been so many women in the workforce and there has never been so many women working in the, uh, uh, ah, what do you call it? the parliament or what's it called? The grin and the looks on the faces of the women in the Democratic Party was of that that they really would need to date a Republican guy because I think they lack passion. I think they lack caring. Someone that hugs them, kisses them and tells them how beautiful they are. Uh, they need to date a man. They don't need a snowflake. They don't need a backbone-less person that is offended by literally waking up in the morning. You need a cowboy. A man that goes up in the morning put on some boots, his hat, goes out, stretches naked in the sunlight, says howdy all, and goes back in, open a bear, and moves along with his day in his SUV, four-wheel drive, diesel, uh, uh, no, manly man. Because I don't know how you cannot be glad to hear that 58% of all new jobs created has gone to women, mostly Hispanic and Afro-American women, I'm not sure, but since the ratings of unemployment among Hispanics and Afro-Americans has dropped rapidly under the Trump administration, I guess a lot of women in those minority groups uh, has gotten jobs, has gotten out of uh, welfare, has gotten off food stamps and can provide for their own family. And as a guy that has been unemployed for three years due to sickness and the sick political uh, climate here in Sweden, 
I can tell you, when you get your paycheck, you can go to the grocery store, you can swipe your card without getting the sweat pouring down your back because you're afraid to say declined. To be able to provide for your family with your hard work instead of just getting a fucking check from the social workers. It helps build character. It helps boost your self-confidence and it really makes you feel a lot better. But since it's Republicans creating all this, it's bad. The orange man is bad. I, I, I don't understand why logic and common sense is not applied. 